Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Niners and the Chiefs coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally on target. Remember, they lost the Super Bowl in there, too. So to be back for the fourth time in five years in today's NFL, that's pretty incredible. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they were one of the heavy favorites to win the NFC, and they were able to get it done. And now they look for that elusive sixth Super Bowl title. Remember, after going 5-0 in their first five appearances here, They've lost two straight, Super Bowl 47 to the Ravens in New Orleans and Super Bowl 54 to Kansas City in Miami. They'd love to start another streak like they had in the 80s when they won four Super Bowl titles. So here come the Chiefs for their opening drive. They'll be led out by someone who needs less introduction than any player in the league. A Super Bowl champion, the league's most valuable player for a second time, Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Throwing now is Mahomes. And a throw there. Complete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. Back to return it, Christian McCaffrey. Fielded just inside the 20. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever. From Iowa State, it's Brock Purdy. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. But they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season, already getting his chance. I mean, harken back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. Second down and six now. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Dances by him. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. But they need two. Here's third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. On first down, this is McCaffrey. We'll get this up to about the 44. 
You give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Purdy. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little bit jumpy. Oh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ballgame. Here's second and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards alone. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Took him five tries, but he is able to complete that first pass of the game. And could you hear the exhale all the way up here? <laughs> not just from him, coaching staff, offensive line, receivers. Nice off the schneid. Can they get him going in a nice groove where he becomes a little more consistent throwing the football? Because you miss those first two, but you get up the 0 for, 4, 0 for 4 range. That can be a little tricky, but able to settle in hopefully. Yeah, now you won't have any confidence issues. Now you kind of get it back, even with just one. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Mahomes now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 25-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some.
They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. To throw, it's Mahomes. That is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. Here's Pacheco. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Pacheco once more. And this time he's not going anywhere. In fact, he'll lose yardage back to the three. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It's Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge for the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. To the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Shotgun now with Purdy. A quick throw there he is incomplete. Everyone rolls into the Super Bowl saying, hey, I'm confident. I'll just do what I did before. But let's face it, you got to be wary of the jitters going into a big game like this. Super Bowl's unlike any other game you're going to play. And now he's starting out 0 for 2. We'll see if he can rebound. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Purdy now to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The 
Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. A nice little juke. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And now here comes Kansas City. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing. Puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw into the hands here of Hardman. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a... Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. But Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. If you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Nine yards on the game there, and it's going to bring up a tough third and seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. This a 27-yard attempt here. Butker's kick here is good. And that will make it six to nothing. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So a couple of field goals now. 6-0 our scores. The kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Purdy from the gun. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 13 yards there and a Niner first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But now it's this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. This is McCaffrey on the give. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Score, 
And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon Gunn, Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Play action. Now Purdy. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Purdy now on second down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll get this down inside the 35. Calling a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. All start, offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Purdy now to throw off the play action. Open man is Jerron Jennings. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Purdy. And this one is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. The throwing here, Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. Kick it away, and here we go. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. KC's offense ready to take over. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. 
Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe something to press it a little bit. This might be the case. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Throwing now is Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. The offense on third down tonight. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This will be third and five. On play action, it's Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. He's to the 15. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Rasheed Rice, 70 yards. And the Chiefs are able to stretch out their lead. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And it's up and good to make the score 13 to 3. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Back to throw, Purdy. They'll find Ayuk open right side. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Fights him off. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 47 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. Out of the gun, Purdy gets this one to use check. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine from the 44. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he goes down, but not before getting his inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup.
Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. It certainly looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Purdy. That's caught by Warner, the tight end. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Ball start, offense. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Purdy will set up to throw it here. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. And this one is right through. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. turn it from his end zone and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 the Chiefs offense set to go this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated they both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From the 22 now, here's second and six. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. They'll be caught by Rice. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Mahomes to throw once more. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. The 49ers get there. 
Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. They'll look to throw here. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Purdy now to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And this offense on third down today, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Purdy. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I mean, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, sling he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Finding Edwards alone once again. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 36. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Mahomes throw complete there to Rice. And they will have a first down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20-yard line. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And 
And again, it's Mahomes. And it's caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez scambling, bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and a lead now up to 14. So that drive spanned five plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. He's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? The ball on the 32. It's second and two. Purdy looking to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And now fall incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Purdy sets up to throw again. Over the middle, complete. That's Jennings. Now the Niners going to single for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second and six. Throwing here, Purdy. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll look to throw again. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. 
And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Again, it's Pacheco. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. search of four yards here to pick up the first down on third down it's Pacheco and he brings this up to the 46 good enough for the first so we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report coach all right, Brandon, back to you, too, in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. He came on after a slow start to fire two second-quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But there's ever a chance to regroup. It's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. On second down, McCaffrey. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Shotgun now with Purdy. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Here's Hardman to return. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And they will take over first and 10. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's laid out deep for Rice. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. I've got a good friend in football always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. 
The second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here's third and six. Throwing now is Mahomes. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. And they'll begin by running the option. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And they'll get him down here at the 23. 89 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. From the 23, here's second and a couple. Try the right side with Mitchell. He got maybe a half yard at most, but eficiently they'll be left with a third and two. You don't see that a ton, do you? With the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. A lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. to the ground on first it's McCaffrey and he maneuvers up the middle for three and it's second down looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays yeah you took the words right out of my mouth so far four plays in this drive all four on the ground here's second and seven now from the 28 they stay on the ground McCaffrey again Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he is going to have a 49ers first down, and he's going to have it by 20, able to get eight yards there on third and two. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. His carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Now Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. A big play there for the Niners. 48 yards. That's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're 
was certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A shotgun handoff to Mitchell. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. From the seven, it's second and five. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from seven yards away. And the 49ers are back within a score. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Moody good with the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Mahomes to throw on second down. This one to the right caught by Valdez Scantling. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that will bring up third and one. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Only a yard of the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at their own 21. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. From the 25, here's second and six. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Connects with Kittle underneath. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. 
No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. And he only needed about a foot there, but there was nowhere to run. Yeah, almost felt like he was trying to get a bigger play. He knew he only needed a short amount of yardage, but instead, trying to find something bigger to pop, sometimes you just have to take those dirty runs, pick up the yardage you need, and start over with a new set of downs. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Hardman on the return. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And that will come the offense as they take over. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring out the third down. Play action's supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you have people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. Mahomes to throw on third and one. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw here complete to Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. To Valdez, Scantling over the middle. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners 30. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire <laughs> week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Open man is Fulton. He's got it. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So they'll get eight out of that completion. 
And it'll be second in a couple. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And the stop will come inside the five of the four. A five-yard gain that makes it first and goal. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive has eaten up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Gotta tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt to win a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Mahomes to throw. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a, a wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a game of two. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Pacheco. And he is going to lose yardage here. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. It's interesting where we are in the game now. The analytics folks, they might tell you to kick the field goal and make it a two-score game. But you have to wonder if emotionally they're thinking, let's go for the touchdown and try and slam the door. So a big one coming now for Harrison Butker. This to make it a two-score game. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage. But you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And that is incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And no return on this one as a fair catch. A signal four and taken. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. 
Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Mahomes going to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he is caught. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. If they continue to throw these safe passes, who can blame them? On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. 61 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Again, it's Pacheco. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. To the 36-yard line, stop there. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. In search of eight yards on third down, they've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Mahomes now to throw. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field, 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he's taken down. The Chiefs sack. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Hurdy with it on third and long. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Well, third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Pacheco gets it, tries the left side. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Hit and drop behind the line by Dre Greenlaw. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start. But now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball. Getting it away from them because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. On second down, here's the option. Powers through. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Third down and one. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll run it now with Gray. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Second and 11 now.
They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 75 yards rushing for him now to this point. So where did all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bound. I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we see? Their last play in the walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They wanted that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock. And they can watch the final seconds tick. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that not just important in the fact that it widens their lead, but really that was a textbook job of just hanging on to the football. And we know all the time that coaches talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's a stat that doesn't matter much, but in this drive, it matters a lot. They want to reduce time and score points and lock this game down. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Here's Christian McCaffrey to return it. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.